Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again bringing another math video. This one I'm going to take you through a very simple proof of um, the derivative of e to the x. So, uh, the derivative of e to the x, of course, is one of these peculiar things that, um, you know, it's, it's itself. So, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So, um, one of the required proofs, usually in calculus, one is to be able to prove this. So there are a couple different ways that you can actually do it. And uh, one of the ways is through using logarithmic differentiation. So you have to kind of be careful about this um, because if you're, uh, if you're on a final exam or an assignment or even a test or whatever, if it just says, like I have written here, prove... Um, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, then, you know, I don't see using logarithmic differentiation as a problem. But, oftentimes, professors want you to use the limit definition for proof. So be very careful. If your professor used the limit definition in class, I would probably go ahead and use that. But I'm going to show you a different way that's actually a little bit easier than that. So, first of all, we need to recognize that um, y is equal to e to the x. That's our function. So what we can do is we can take the, the ln ln of both sides. So ln y is equal to ln of e to the x. So what we can do is we can now um, go ahead and use our rules of logs to make this a little bit easier. So ln of y is equal to x times ln of e. Now, of course, ln of e is equal to 1. So we can get rid of that guy, and we can just have ln of y is equal to x. So now we need to take the derivative of both sides. So I'm going to do that on my next page here. So basically, all I've done so far is take a ln of both sides and simplify it using my rules of log. So I don't know if I said it or not, but this rule here is if you have something inside the log to the exponent of something you can take it and put it in front of the log function so that's a really important rule so now we have ln of y is equal to x so I'm going to take the derivative of both sides of that d over dx of ln of y and d whoops d over dx of x so the derivative of ln of x that's an implicit derivative so the de derivative of ln of y is 1 over y and don't forget you have to use the chain rule so you always gotta have that y prime there like that and then d over dx the derivative of x is 1 so then what we can do is we can solve this for y prime so y prime is equal to y times 1 which is just y and of course we know that y is equal to e to the x so there it is that is the derivative of e to the x. So y prime is equal to e to the x. So we prove that the derivative of d over d to the x, or e to the x, sorry, d over dx of e to the x is equal to e to the x. So it's a really straightforward proof when you use logarithmic differentiation. Um, really important skill to be able to do this, guys. And um, I hope this video helps some of you in your calculus struggles. And I'll see you guys in class. Thank you very much for watching.